I don't know what it says about me that I love sitting on my floor so much. If I could film every video from my floor, I probably would. Welcome back everyone. Today's video is going to be a new unboxing. So I've had a few PR packages show up. I also have like just a couple of random things from Amazon that I purchased that I wanted to show you. And then I also got some clothes, including some cute PJs sent to me from the brand Acure. I think is how you say it and they are available on Amazon. I wanted to run through everything. I've been doing PR hauls a little bit more frequently on my channel. I didn't do them for like years and years on YouTube, but I don't know. Something about just like being chill, sitting on my floor. Uh, I know the sound probably isn't the best because I'm in my living room and I don't really have any furniture. <laughs> I, uh, I'm barely in my own apartment, so it's like why put anything in here? So I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna like keep doing I know a lot of you say that you like the PR unboxings and you like the chill atmosphere, but I almost feel like I need like a microphone or something in here. Um, I mean, I could buy furniture as well and actually turn this place into a home, but let's be realistic, that's probably not gonna happen. I'm just gonna sit here amongst these boxes and show you what I got. So I will link everything down below. Uh, so like I said, I have a few fashion pieces that were sent over to me from the brand Acure. They're available on Amazon. And I was really excited actually when they asked if they could send me a few pieces because I have bought quite a bit from the brand, especially their pajamas. And when they sent me some more pajama sets, again, quite excited because I have been able to do um, like to work with a few hotels around the Las Vegas area to kind of show like their rooms, their suites, their restaurants, their spas, things like that. But whenever we do a hotel room shoot, we're always in pajamas. And like I'm in the same two sets of pajamas every single time because usually for PJs, I'm wearing like what I'm wearing now. Like I have leggings on um, or sweatpants or like oversized t-shirts or things like that. But for these shoots, I need to be coming in cute PJs. So when they said they would send me over some pajamas, I was like, yes, please, yes. So I have a pair that's kind of similar to this, but they are in red. And I love that they sent me pink because a lot of times I do the shoots with one or two of my close girlfriends and we're typically like wearing pink as well. But this is the first set. You have like the silky PJs and I love the bright pink color. And then you also have the matching shorts. I'll be putting in some try on clips as well. Um, with all of these, but how cute is this set? And it just feels like so soft. I actually have another set from Acure in red as well, and it just, they feel so nice on the skin. I, again, I sleep alone. Um, your girl has been single for three years, so she's used to sleeping alone. Sometimes it's just kind of nice to elevate like your night routine, your bedtime routine, and I feel like you can do that with a pair of nice pajamas when you're going to sleep. So I think those are so cute, but I especially love this set. And I think this would work for the shoots as well. Like if both my girlfriends are wearing pink, then I could come in black because we have a black cami and there is a little bit of lace detail at the top here. And then you have the thin straps. And then once again, you have shorts. And I thought these were so cute because they're lined all the way around the hem with the lace detail as well i actually wear these a lot and to me these are just really also nice for just like lounging around our weather has um, taken a positive turn in las vegas it's gotten quite warmer the sun is out probably going to finish filming this video and then take my third walk of the day because i love being outside and i love walking but I've noticed that it's getting you know, warmer in my apartment and at night it's getting a little bit warmer. So I love to wear this set when I'm just like lounging around, I'm doing some editing, just kind of chilling, clean, like I've been cleaning my apartment a lot this last week and I love, love this set. And I also, I love it in black, but this is the, definitely the one that I've been wearing the most. And then Acure does also have um, regular clothes as well. Like I feel like they're kind of best known for their pajamas, I would say. But they also sent me two like your basic long sleeve tees. But these, the quality on these, they are so soft. They're also kind of more of like a stretchy material, which is really nice. I got everything that you see is in a size small. You have a little bit of, um, I don't know what what you would say for the neckline here, but it's not like super high up. It's also not super low cut though. Um, I love the long sleeves on these. These are perfect for like layering or again, just like throwing on, running errands, something like that. So I got the gray and then also the black. 
But again, I just really like the quality and the feel on these once again. Big thank you to Acure for sending these over to me. I will have these in my um, Amazon storefront as well. So I always have my Amazon storefront linked in my description box. I put on there, um, I have a recent buys tab, which tends to be a pretty popular one. So anything that I buy, I always put into my recent buys tab. I have tabs on there for fashion, for shoes. I just did a shoe haul recently, sunglasses, obviously like makeup and beauty. Um, just different things like that kitchen around the home. So I will have all of those linked on my storefront But I would say my favorite out of those is definitely the black pajama set I could wear those every day okay, And then I just thought that I would throw these in because I just got these in from Amazon So one is a repurchase. I've talked about my chia seeds a lot. So I have my chia seeds basically every single morning so every day I, when I wake up I wash my face, I brush my teeth, I take my supplements, put my sunscreen on, and I get walking outside. Now that our weather has gotten warmer, I like to walk outside right away in the morning. It just helps me get my steps in right away. And I will always, before I leave, I grab a chia seed squeeze. A lot of times in the morning, I actually walk to a Starbucks and I grab a drink. So I wanna have something in my system before that. So I have a ton of water. Sometimes I'll have like dates or a banana. Um, something along those lines. It's a little bit chillier still or if it's raining and sometimes I'll have um, I like to do like sourdough toast and I put uh, cottage cheese on it with some pistachios Something like that. I just I try to make sure that the first thing not the first thing that I'm consuming in the morning is a ton of sugar from Starbucks um, but I like my walk because I walk two and a half miles to a Starbucks and then I turn I grab a chai I order it from my app and then I turn around and I walk two and a half miles back I gave up Starbucks for about six months, I would say it was, but for me, I like having like a destination when I walk. On the weekends, I walk to my lunch. So I have one path where I walk every morning because it's not quite, I mean, five miles is still, it's five miles is five miles, okay? Um, so it's still long, but on the weekends, usually either Saturday or Sunday, I usually don't, I'm not able to do both. But like last, um, it was last Sunday, I walked four miles to my lunch. I got lunch at Nacho Daddy and then I turned around and walked four miles home. So that was an eight mile walk. So I just, I love walking. Um, I feel like it really helps my mental health. I have been struggling quite a bit the last week to probably like, I would say like the last week with my anxiety. And I just feel like being able to get outside and just walk and I listen to podcasts or I like video chat my friends, things like that. I just feel like it really helps my mental health. I also, I like to get outside right away in the morning too, like get the sunshine in, like all those things. Um, but again, one thing, like I don't want to just go, I, that's what I used to do um, before I was diagnosed with PCOS. Like literally in the morning, I would barely drink any water. I definitely wouldn't eat anything. I would just get to Starbucks as quickly as I could and start consuming a heck of amount of sugar. <laughs> like. You look at how much sugar is in those chives like i started doing half pumps and you know taking out the caramel drizzle and you know all the things but one thing that i tried to think about um especially when it came to like the my pcos journey and just my health journey and hormone journey and all of that is what can i add in versus what can i take away i feel like that mindset really helped me especially when i was doing things like the elimination diet and things like that so that's just one th one way that i like to look at it is what can i add in instead of what can I just be taking away. So I have the chia seeds, it's not quite every day because again, sometimes I have you know something else to eat in the morning and if I do, then I'm like fine. But if I don't have time to eat or I'm like trying to get out of the house right away, I'll at least make sure to grab a chia seed squeeze. I get the wild raspberry ones. So these are 70 calories, they have prebiotic fiber, 1200 omega-3s. They're just kind of like a, what do people compare them to? Like a go-gurt or something like that? I don't know, uh, to me, like I just like swallow everything like it's not like you're like chewing on the chia seeds or anything like that To me, it's just kind of like a yogurt that you can take on the go and they have a bunch of different flavors I prefer the raspberry I buy them and so they come in like these packs of four and when I buy them I think they come with like six of these or something like that I want to say or maybe eight so I just always have them stocked I like to keep them in my fridge um, cause I prefer to have them cold, but I've gotten so many of my friends hooked on them. Like Katie and Ashley always have them as well. And we just, we all love our chia seeds and getting enough fiber is something that not a lot of us 
uh, do, and myself included. So this is a little way to get in some more fiber. And then one of my friends, shout out Steve, he turns me on to these chips. These are from Quest, and these um, are their protein chips. So the ones that I get are the natural cheese flavor. So there's 18 gra grams of protein per serving in here, four grams of net carbs. And then I think the serving size is one bag, right? Yeah, so one bag of this has 18 grams of protein. And to me, I definitely do still love to snack. Like I love my chips, I still love my candy, I love my Kit Kats, like all the things. Um, so a lot of like white cheddar popcorn, like I always have white cheddar popcorn. So um, Steve is actually uh, friends with my friend Ashley and when he was visiting, um, I wasn't here, I was in Ireland, but he turned Ashley and her husband on to these chips. And so when I went over there, Ashley's husband was like, try these chips, but I messaged him and I was like, hey, I'm gonna try these chips. And now I just keep ordering them. Like, look at like, I just got a new shipment in. To me, these just taste like Doritos. They taste like Doritos, but like a lighter version of Doritos. But to me, they don't taste like, you know, like I like Sun Chips, but you know, like Sun Chips, maybe taste like a little on like the healthier side and you might not like that. But these I think taste so good. And honestly, again, after I get done filming this, I'm probably gonna have these cause I'm kind of in the mood for a little snack. And one thing too, that I try to make sure that I get enough of is protein. Um, so fiber, protein, just things that I try to think about when I think about everything that I am consuming throughout the day. And again, like for a snack, it just gives me a little bit of protein. So highly recommend those. If you are a snack fan or a chip fan like myself, they can be a good alternative. I have some lip products. I mentioned these recently in my Will I Buy It video, but what I'm wearing today is from Tower 28. So I just did a lip swatching video of all of these. Okay, I thought these were new because they just sent them to me in PR. So usually when I get stuff in PR, I assume that they're new. But I said something in one of my TikTok videos and someone was like, these came out last year. I was like, oh. Well, I never tried them. I never saw anything about them and I got these now, so I'm gonna try them out. So these are their juice balms and their tinted lip balms. So you can see the one that I have on today is in drink. And then I was wearing the one in mix, which is a nude. I was wearing this in my Will I Bite video because I had a pretty bold green eye look. These are really nice. So I swatched all the shades. The orange is oh, so popping. I'm sure I'll put the YouTube shorts up. Um, over here, but it will also be on my TikTok and my Instagram, which is March Beauty Word. But I really like the formula on these, and I said I feel like these will make really good like purse lippies for warm weather. So just easy to reapply. I love that we have two bolder shades and then two more um, like nude shades. One's the nude brown, and another one is a little bit more of like a sheer pink. So I think those are super fun. And then Lawless Beauty also sent over some new lip products, so they have. I had a gloss over here. Yeah. So this gloss I've been so obsessed with. This is in maple sugar. I have a little short doing the lip combo with this one. So they came out with new shades in their lip plumping glosses and also the lip balms. So um, tonight as well, I will wipe off this bold lip and I'm going to do lip swatches with all of the new shades that they sent over. So I'm super excited about that because I love the Lawless lip balms and I also love their glosses. So if you are interested in any, they have more new shades out now. And again, some more lip swatches will be coming soon i mentioned in my will i buy it video that i love to do lip videos it's just like lip swatches lip collections anything like that lip duos like i just love doing lip videos so i'm filming two different ones today it's just it's kind of hard because like you apply then you have to wipe off and then apply and then you wipe off and you put oh but it's fine like i enjoy doing them so we're gonna keep doing them speaking of some lip products fenty beauty sent me a really nice package it's fenty beauty and fenty skin i opened it because i saw fenty on it and i was like oh. i thought they sent me the concealer and i was so excited about it because they messaged me and asked about like shade matching so i thought i was going to get the new concealer but it's okay it's just it's in my sephora cart now but they sent me this it has the plush pudding intensive rescue no, the Intensive Recovery Lip Mask. I think I might have one of these. I think maybe one came in um, a goodie bag from when I went to a YouTube event. Ooh, this is really nice though. And you like push it up. Mm, okay, well, I'm gonna try those out right away. I love me a good lip mask. Um, it also came with the Fenty Treats, the Hydrating and Strengthening Lip Oil which includes a cherry treat. I think this is the one that I love, right? This is the lip oil I love so much. I actually had someone DM me today on Instagram saying I got them hooked on uh, this cherry lip oil from Fenty Beauty and I was like, yes. I have worn it so much, but I love it. And I, 
like i love a good lip oil but i tend to always go back to the same ones but fenty beauty is now one that i'm like yes i keep going back to that one and then we also have oh this says new this says new fuchsia flex what is that oh wow look at this one Ooh, that's pretty so this is one of the gloss bombs right wow that is definitely very fuchsia okay oh she pretty that's cute okay so they also came with a couple of the gloss bombs and then also the gloss bomb heat which is a universal lip luminizer and plumper i actually never tried the gloss bomb heat did anyone try this one that one is pretty clear i don't know if you can see it i swatched it above so it's pretty clear, but it's supposed to be like the lip plumper. I mean, I could give it a try. We could swatch all of these. Let me know anything that you want lip swatches of. I'm here for you, okay? I am here for you. Well, I was excited to still get this because I don't really get PR from Fenty. So when I saw this, I was like, oh, oh my gosh, okay. Um, so I'm very excited about that. So thank you to Fenty. And I'm excited to try this plush pudding. Has anyone tried this one? What do you think the lip is? Next up, I got a package from Laura Mercier. So a lot of people have been trying her, I think it's a concealer, right, that I've been seeing, or like a tinted moisturizer. And I'm like, is it new? Is it not? So when I got this, I opened it up right away thinking it was something new, but it's, it's, I don't think it is. So we have the Pure Canvas Primer, and then we have a few of the tinted moisturizer blushes, which I'm fairly sure that I've tried. Um, a caviar eyeliner pencil, some more, this one is a powder blush, some more primers. We also have a mini of the translucent uh, loose setting powder, so cute, and also a full size of the setting powder. We have a liquid highlight, some more of the tinted blushes, eye pencils, I think these are the caviar eye sticks, and a lip color. So again, Laura Mercier tends to send quite a bit of PR. Sometimes some things are new or sometimes they're just sending some of their older products, but I think I've tried pretty much everything um, that I've mentioned uh, in here from Laura Mercier. I do like this little mini powder though. I don't have a lot of mini powders and just for like how much traveling I'm about to be doing or like getting into warmer weather season, like if I just wanna throw like a small powder into my bag or something. Um, I'm excited about this because I do like the Laura Mercier powder. So I'm gonna be holding on to that one. Then I have another package here and this one I believe is from Clarins. So Clarins sent over, looks like we have some lip, oh, red lip energy. Stop. It's like everyone knew that I wanted to wear bolder lips this year. Like, let me help you out, girl. Okay. So we have a lip perfector. Also the water lip stain. <gasps> what? Okay, we're gonna have to try this. ASAP. I'm super curious about that. And then also one of the Clarins lip oils. I really do like these a lot too. And this one is in the shade Cherry. Of course it is. Okay, I'm gonna try this water lip stain right away though because i'm very curious about this should i put it on my hand oh okay oh did i just stain my hand we'll have to see like the milk makeup jelly tints like those things stay so i will definitely try this on my lips maybe would you guys want to see like wear tests especially for things that do say they're more of a stain or more long wearing like i can put things to the test okay you let me know what you want to see because like i mentioned in my willy bite video there's not a lot of like beauty beauty content that i'm like super stoked about at the moment but for me it's lips so it's like i might as well lean into into something that i enjoy like filming and doing you know what i'm saying so let me know if there's anything that you want to see and then next up this package is from tower 28 <gasps> stop this is so cute it says to my favorite softy <gasps> and it's got my name on it wait lip softy facts what's a lip softy this is so cute oh, how cute oh my gosh okay you hold the kiwi to my heart or you glad we have each other un beso dolce it's clear you're the one for me and will ube will ube mine that's funny okay lip softy a tinted lip treatment well, now we have to try all of these as well. Oh, I'm, I'm living for all of these lip products. Thank you. So cute. 
Okay, right, so those aren't the actual names, but those are so cute. Watermelon Kiwi is a sheer baby pink. Dolce de Leche is a sheer nude. Blood Orange Vanilla is a sheer red orange. SOS Vanilla is a clear, and Ube Vanilla is a sheer burgundy. Uh, okay, so this is so cute how it looks like it's a, a little chocolate box, but except it's making me really want chocolate. This is off topic, but I have been making this dessert. If you follow me on Instagram, I posted it last night in my stories. I was like, oops, I did it again. Three nights in a row, I have made this dessert. I'll probably put a short up, but it's so easy. It's literally just Greek yogurt. Um, I use almond butter, protein powder, and then I mix it all together. And then I drizzle, um, I melt down chocolate chips with coconut oil, drizzle that on top, throw some peanuts on it, put it in the fridge for like 10 minutes. The chocolate gets hard. I'm gonna make it tonight too. I'm gonna make it tonight too, and I'm excited about it. I'm talking about that. Oh, I was saying it reminded me of chocolate. <laughs> How did I get talking about food and dessert? So weird, never know how that happens, am I right? Um, I'm excited for those though. Thank you to Tower28. Yeah, cause someone commented and was like, the juice bombs came out last year, but they just came out with a new like tinted lip balm. And I was like, well, that's weird, I got the juice bombs. But I think one went to my other address, so. That happens, that happens. All right, we have a package here from Ofra Cosmetics. All right, let's see. I never know how to open their PR packages. Hey, you have to pull. Oh, this is cute. I saw this on Instagram. So this is a self-love. So I'm getting some of the Valentine's stuff. Um, there's a signature palette, a liquid lip set, and the highlighter. Okay, the highlighter looks so cute. I know I don't even wear highlighter that much, but like I saw this highlight on Instagram and I was like, this is so freaking cute. Aw. Can you see how cute that is? I'm right in front of my like big screen door, but like the pink with the white. I just thought that was so cute. Aww. We also have a lip trio, and then we also have the signature palette in Self Love. Looks like so. So we have some of the pinks here. So I am an affiliate with Ofra. My discount code is Samantha. This like, like pop and pink shade is so pretty. So again, all of this will be linked down below. That highlighter is just so freaking cute. Alrighty. Next up we have, ooh, this is from YSL. This is their Elevate Your Lashes and Make a Daring Statement with a Lash Clash Extreme Waterproof Mascara. Ooh, I do like the Lash Clash, and I saw my friend Angelina post it the other day. Is this blue? Because everything is blue. No, okay. Like, this is blue, and like some of the packaging is blue. I don't know if maybe that's just because it's like waterproof, but I was like, why is, is this going to be a blue mascara? Not that there's anything wrong with blue mascara. I just didn't know what we were getting into. But I really like the Lash Clash. I've gone through a couple of these. I've given it really high reviews. And one of my girlfriends the other day, Angelina, she got this, and she was wearing it, and she was like, wait, I love the Lash Clash, and her lashes looked so good. I was like, yes, girl, yes. So I do also like to test out mascaras, and I would recommend the Lash Clash. So... Thank you to YSL for sending that over. Next up, we have a box from Catrice. And look how cute this bag is. That's fun. So inside, we have the Soft Glam Filter Fluid. Creamy, ultra lightweight texture to even out skin tone. And then also the Nude Drop Tinted Serum Foundation. <gasps> also comes with this mirror? Are you joking? A Glow Pro Compact Mirror with a double lamp. Three lighting modes, magnification, automatic light off, adjustable brightness. I'm obsessed. Thank you, Catrice. My neighbors are moving. They're so loud and just so inconsiderate. Like you're not even asking if I'm filming in my living room. It's my friend Ashley and her husband. They are moving this week. So I keep hearing their door open and close. I was in my office earlier and I could see them like packing up their car. I was like, hello. Goodbye. So sad, end of an era. So sad, so sad, but you know what's not sad is this mirror, and I am so excited about this. Again, with all of the traveling that I'm doing, like this is gonna be so perfect. Oh my gosh, that's exciting. And then we also have the Tinted Serum Foundation. Listen, I've actually been like going through my foundations, so I'm excited to try these, except these look extremely light. I don't know if either of these are gonna do well for me, 020W or 36C, so I'm more cool toned. Um, I don't know if either of those are gonna be a great shade match for me. And then we have the Soft Glam Filter Fluid, kind of reminds me a little bit of like the 
Charlotte Tilbury um, or e.l.f. This is a glow booster. I almost wonder, because these come in light, medium, and medium. I wonder if I could like mix. I really want to try this though, because I tinted serum foundation. I like something that's more lightweight. This has hyaluronic acid and vitamin E. I'm curious to try this out. I'm going to try this from Catrice. Maybe I'll try to mix it and um, see what we get, if I can get a good shade match on it. But this is also a cute makeup bag. So thanks Catrice and for this mirror. Okay, so the soft glam filter fluid is $10. And then the new drop serum foundation is also $10. Comes in 16 shades, light to medium coverage. 24 hours hydration. Listen, the Super Bowl is over, so I don't need to test anything for 24 hours again, but I could have during that time. All right, and then I have a package from Glow Recipe. So in here, we have a variety of things, including some stickers. That's always fun. Okay, so in here, we have their Plum Plump Hyaluronic Cream. We also have the Watermelon Pink Juice oil-free refillable moisturizer these packages I'm just gonna have to. i love that i just cleaned this last night if you're a member there's a new members exclusive video of me cleaning like my whole kitchen organizing everything and now i'm just sitting amongst a ton of boxes but that's fine um so this is what they say this is a refill pot oh okay i like that that's a good idea and then we also have the watermelon glow pink juice moisturizer and the watermelon glow oh refillable refill i see what you did there refill i see i see okay so that's cute mindfully made refillable moisturizers so that's the point of this package probably would help if i read a little bit first but thank you to glow recipe so they now have refillable skincare so that's great all right and then i think this is the last package it looks like See, that's a big one. Let's see what's in here. That's what she said. Look, I haven't had it. That's what she said in a minute. Oh, this is from Elvis. <laughs> it's a headband. Oh my gosh, literally. Oh, like what makes me so happy in life? It's just a good skincare headband. Oh, I'm obsessed. Stop. I love this color. I feel like Cinderella. Oh, I'm so happy. Literally, like you. No one even has to send me anything, makeup or skincare wise. Send. Like the mirror, the headband. I can't wait to watch my face back because I feel like I was instantly just so excited. But I also love Elemis. In one of my group chats the other day, someone was asking um, favorite cleansing balm. And I was like, I do love the one from Elemis. Look at that. Oh, I'm pumped. Oh, I'm pumped. Thank you, thank you. <gasps> what is this? This looks bougie as a bougie little washcloth. Oh, I'm so fancy. I'm so fancy. We also have the dynamic resurfacing facial pads. I do really like these as well. And the Pro Collagen Marie. I love all of this skin. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Thank you, Elemis. So Elemis is now at Sephora. Cause I was like, wait, what's this? This looks like Sephora. You can now get Elemis at Sephora. We love that. Cleansing Balm, one of my absolute favorites. Collagen Cream, my mom's a fan of the skincare line. Katie is, Ashley is. Um, I'm not gonna give up either of these because I don't have backups at the moment, but if I did, I would give them to one of them. But I do have, I have a lot of these, so I'll see if anyone wants some of those. Um, but thank you so much to Elemis, and I love this, this headband. So that is everything for this a PR haul, um, a little, just a little random Amazon haul from me. Thank you to Acure for sending me some of your clothes as well. I, again, I will have any of these linked down below. Let me know if there's anything that you want to see, lip swatches you want to see, anything like that. Again, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.